Hey everybody, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be going over three easy ways to inoculate your grain. My name is Deborah, and the mycologist in the video is Apex Alexander, and together we are needle juice fungi. If you like this type of content, please take a minute to subscribe to our channel. To get started, you'll need a laminar flow hood or a steel air box to do your work inside of, your choice of your grain spawn bags and jars, 70% isopropyl alcohol for sterilization purposes, gloves and a face mask, liquid culture or colonized agar plate that you will be using, an impulse sealer if you do not have an injection port, and a scalpel and butane torch if you will be using agar. What's up y'all? Today I'm going to show you how to inoculate your grain using a couple different methods. Um, we're going to use some liquid culture, this is from our shop, um, but you can get this anywhere, online, any other mushroom vendor. Um, we're going to do some pink oyster liquid culture today. This process works with any um, any culture as far as gourmet is medicinal actives. Um, today we're using our gourmet cultures. We're going to do some pink oyster and probably some lion's mane today. We're also going to show you how to inoculate your grain using agar. This is another method. Um, yeah, it's a simple process, y'all, so we're just going to go ahead and get into it. You start with pink oyster liquid culture. We're under the flow hood. So what I like about the flow hood is you can work and not have to worry about the um, environment not being sterile. If you have a grain bag with an injection port, you don't necessarily need an, uh, a flow hood or an SAB. Um, you can you can do it in any area. You can spray this down. Same with the top of this. We'll open up our, our culture. Got our needle. Got your syringe. So if you order a liquid culture from us, this is what every liquid culture is gonna come with. It's gonna come with your liquid culture. It's also gonna come with a needle. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to inoculate these bags with your injection needle. Very simple. And then I'm gonna also show you how to inoculate jars without an injection port. And also bags without an injection port. So first we're gonna jump into this one. And open up our needle. Got some liquid culture in there. Give it a good little shake. See it spinning in there. Very simple. We're just going to go ahead and poke it up in there. You don't want to touch any grains and maybe about one to two cc's that's all you need pull it out here you go ahead and hit the other one one two cc's that's it pull it out put your cap on i like to take my needle off seal it back up and you see we only used about four cc's for these two. Go ahead and put that back. That's it. That's how easy it is when you have an injection port. And if you, like I said, if you have an injection port on your jar or on your bag, you don't have to do this under a flow hood, but I still like to keep everything sterile. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll label everything. Go ahead and label my bag, my date, in my culture and if I want to I'll put LC so I know I use LC to inoculate it and that's it you're gonna go put that in the incubation chamber same with my jar I'm gonna go ahead and label it I'm gonna put the date on it I'm gonna put the culture and that's all good to go so those are inoculated so that's how you inoculate 
bags that are ready with injection ports and jars with injection ports. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm gonna show you how to inoculate bags that don't have injection ports. So this is sealed. You can also get this um, grain on our website if you don't know how to make your own. If you wanna know how to make your own, you can go to our YouTube channel and um, watch the tutorial on how to, how to prepare grain spawn. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and, I already did the pink oyster, so I'm gonna put that to the side. Now I'm gonna do the lion's mane. Very simple, y'all. So for this, I'm not gonna use the needle. So I'm gonna put the needle to the side. I'm gonna get my liquid culture out. We got our lion's mane liquid culture. You can also get this on our website. Nice and clear, nice and clean culture. So for this, we're not gonna use the needle. I'm gonna put that to the side. Um, I'm gonna cut my bag open. And my scissors. So it's sealed at the top. So all I'm gonna do is cut my bag open. Now it's open, all right? Open it all up. Remember, we're under the flow hood now. We're under the flow hood. If you don't have a flow hood, do this in the SAB. I'm also going to get my jar ready. See, there's no injection port. So I'm going to have to open these up, right? So what I like to do, get my liquid culture a good little shake. Open it up. And you're going to spray it right into the bag. One to two cc's, boom. Same thing with this, open it up. One to two cc's, boom. Go ahead and cap this off. Put this right back in there. I'm gonna close this up. That's good to go. Now I'm gonna take this bag and all I'm gonna do is seal it. I got a sealer down here, an impulse sealer. So if you don't got you an impulse sealer, get you an impulse sealer. Here, let me, let me show you. Got a little sealer right here. Impulse sealer. Got you a nice little seal on it. Check it. I can do two. Got you a nice little seal, and that's it. Now we're gonna label them. Simple as that. Now we're gonna label them. Lines, man. That's it. So that's how you inoculate your grain bags without an injection port. We still got our needle in case we need it. So I'll go ahead and put that back in the liquid culture. And we still got plenty of liquid culture for our next inoculations. So that's how you would uh, inoculate your grain jars or your grain bag without an injection port. You're also obviously going to need, for the bags, you're going to need an impulse sealer. Or you can staple it. You can roll these down and staple it up. I know some people who do that, but that's not, you know, that's not professional. But it will work if you're just doing this at home. Um, so now, since those are out the way, now I can show you guys how to inoculate with agar. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen those lids up. So for this, all you're going to need is a scalpel, you need a torch, and a flame sterilize this. Red hot, kill any bacteria that might be on there. 
we're gonna get our um so this is some agar we're just gonna take our agar cut a couple slices not you don't need a lot and we're gonna drop them in these jars and that's gonna inoculate these uh these jars with agar remember i'm under a flow hood Make sure this is cool first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it down the middle. I don't like to I don't like to um, use the edge of the plate because there's more chance of bacteria. So I go right to the edge, cut a little wedge like this, a little wedge like this. Cut it down the middle, and I'll just get those wedges, and I'll be able to put them in there. So I'll do the first one. You can you can cut them smaller, you can cut them bigger. It's up to you. You don't really need much. I like to use two wedges per jar. Tap that one. I don't like to work over my jar. Boom. I usually don't talk during this either, but you know, we're under flow that we're alright. Boom. Cap it. Put your scalpel to the side. Go ahead and cap this off. Put that on there. Go ahead and give it a little shake. Get your agar down in there. Some people call this a tiger, tiger drop. agar in there boom these are inoculated y'all they tighten your lids you got your agar in there you give it seven to ten days and you'll do your first breaking shake you'll get some growth in about seven to ten days your jars are going to go from this to looking like this fully colonized that's what a fully colonized jar looks like y'all so that's how you uh that's how you inoculate we're going to go ahead and label these you can use tape i don't use tape 10, 24. <coughs> 10, 24. So that's it, y'all. That's how you inoculate your grain using LC and also using agar. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Very simple video. If you have any questions, you reach out to us. Check out our website. We have all of our products also available on our website. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll show you how to do agar transfers. I'll show you how to make LC. I'll show you how to do agar to agar, grain to grain, all the good stuff. So uh, stay tuned, y'all. Thanks for watching. This is our grain spawn four days later. It's about 30% colonized. So if we want to do a break and shake now would be a great time. It's going to speed up the mycelium growth. Well, that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching our channel and stay tuned for our next video. Much love.